Hello, my name is John, and this is my submission for the NCOMP 100 coding contest, Restricted Rock, Paper, Scissors. We're all familiar with the game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. It's a very simple game. You throw out one of the three signs, Rock beats Scissors, Scissors beats Paper, and Paper beats Rock. In Restricted Rock, Paper, Scissors, these signs are represented by cards. The restricted part comes from the fact that you are limited to having only three of each card. This means that once you run out of rocks, in the following rounds you can no longer throw rocks. This adds a new variable onto the existing strategy of trying to read your opponent in rock, paper, scissors. When the contest was first announced at the beginning of the semester, I immediately began to brainstorm ideas. I've had no previous experience with coding or game design, so I didn't want a super difficult concept that I would never be able to make on my own. I came across a game online called Pongs, which was 36 different variations on the classic game Pong. I really liked the idea of making a game that was a variation on a classic well-known game, so I went with something similar. Eventually, I recalled an arc in, in the manga Kaiji where they played a game of restricted rock, paper, scissors, and I thought this fit my idea perfectly. So I decided on trying to recreate something like that in MATLAB. My first iteration of the code was created the night after I had settled on an idea. I was excited to get to work immediately on the project. I managed to finish the bulk of the code that night within a few hours, which is what you see here. Now this was at the start of the semester, right after the first lab, so we hadn't learned yet about how to create proper visual effects. I thought at the time that my lab was only capable of creating graphs and outputting text at the command window, so I decided to settle for an ASCII art type of aesthetic for my game. The first version of this code only featured a single player mode where you face off against an AI that picks cards at random. During the next few weeks, I only went back every once in a while to make some very minor changes and bug, fi bug fixes, but the next big change didn't occur until we learned about functions. As you can see here, the first version of the code was quite ugly, and upon learning about functions, I decided to try and clean up the code a little bit to make it look nicer to somebody looking through the code. Uh, I moved both printing of the card art and the bot AI into their separate sub-functions, and I also began brainstorming a difficulty system and how a better AI would strategize against a human player, but unfortunately I, worked, I was never able to put that into the code because of time restraints. During this final week, I implemented a two-player mode. At this point, I was quite happy with the ASCII art design, so I decided to leave it as it was going to the final version. I also found a tool online that allowed me to convert a drawing into an ASCII art, so I drew out 13 player portraits, which are assigned randomly at the start of the game, to make some visual effects and to make the game look overall a bit better. I think this was probably my favorite part of the code. I also sent out some co the code to some of my friends to get some impressions and to find any of the bugs that I had missed. The current version of the code features a lot of nested while loops, which are the main bulk of it. From playtesting, the bugs that came back were mostly regarding a built-in MATLAB error, which would output whenever you inputted something that wasn't a number when it prompted you. I fixed this by simply taking the input as a string and then converting it into a number using the string to double function and then first detecting whether or not it was a number, and then detecting whether or not it was one of the valid options. Now I think the only remaining bug that I'm not really sure how to fix is that the code is unable to deal with inputs that occur when the user isn't prompted, for example when it's printing out the results of a round. Unfortunately I'm not sure if this is fixable with my current knowledge of MATLAB. Much like regular rock, paper, scissors, I believe restricted rock, paper, scissors is more fun when you play it against a human opponent. It's a lot more fun to try out predict your opponent rather than just playing against an AI that picks cards at random. I hope you get a chance to play with a human opponent and of course have fun and don't cheat. Thank you.